Hi friends. Today we are going to create an artwork inspired by artist Jen Stark. Jen Stark is a contemporary artist. Contemporary art is defined as the art of today. She's a young artist only in her 30s who was born in Miami. Let's take a look at some of her works. Jen's work features brightly colored or black and white lines that are painted to look like they are dripping. Her work is sometimes considered an optical illusion, but her work has also been compared to topographical maps. Jen also creates three-dimensional works from layers upon layers of cut paper, hence the topographical map comparison. There's so much more to learn about Jen Stark, so I encourage that you do some research on your own too. So let's get started. Go ahead and gather your materials. You'll need white paper and some sort of coloring tool. Okay, so I'm going to get started now. There's many different materials that you can use. I'll be using colored pencils today. I mean, there's many different ways that you can go about starting this as well. I'm going to actually start with a black color pencil and lightly drawing all of my lines in first, and then I'll go back and color in. So I'm just making drips now. The drips are just made by making a squiggly line, and some of the squiggles are longer than others. I'm gonna add one in here. And then you just keep kind of tracing that shape or outlining that shape until you have that section of drips complete. Now I'm actually going to start a new section of drips. So I'm gonna have it coming from here. And then again, you just keep outlining by leaving a little space in between the last squiggly line that you've created. Okay, so now I'm going to add color. I'm going to start at the top and then work my way down to the bottom of the page. Now Jen Stark uses very bright colors, so that's the type of color palette that I'm going to work with too. And I'm going to go with a rainbow color scheme for my first set of drips. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my black and white section and I'm going to do that here. Now I'm actually going to move on to using a marker instead to color my black and white section, because just to be honest with you, doing the color pencil took a considerable amount of time, but if you have time, then you might as well use it. So here is my finished Jen Stark inspired artwork. Now I just want to let you know that you do not have to do yours in the same color scheme that I chose. I chose to do mine very similar to Jen Stark's, but of course you can be as creative as you want to. Thanks for watching.